Are you curious about how long it will take to heal from liposuction surgery or any type of plastic surgery? Today, I'm going to answer that specific question and offer you three tips to help heal you faster and reduce the swelling that you're dealing with. Stay tuned for this informative healing video. I'm going to bet that your plastic surgeon didn't really detail in full both the expected recovery time and specific ways to heal faster from liposuction surgery. In fact, most of the cases that I work with, many individuals are not told that healing from liposuction surgery takes at minimum 10 months. That's a really long time. Welcome, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I'm a naturopathic physician and I specialize in helping individuals heal post-operative, post-surgically. And one of the main segments of my practice is working with individuals like yourself who might have had liposuction surgery or any assortment of plastic surgery treatments or procedures. I want to specifically answer how long it's going to take for you to heal because that's one of the things that I think we're not told in the clinic setting before you go in for your surgery that you might actually swell a whole lot more after the surgery, your body and limb size might actually increase and that you are not going to instantly get the magical results that you're hoping to achieve by having your surgery. That's something that is, I think, really important for you to know as we go through this healing process. This is a multi-layered staged process that you have to wear the compression garments that are recommended. You have to lay low and relax for the beginning phase of your post-surgical healing. And there are some things that you need to do to help minimize fluid retention and buildup of fluid pockets in areas around the abdomen, the side, the flank, the legs, inner and outer thigh. And really that's what I want to do today is to help you heal faster. I've written a guide. It's a pre and post surgical guide. It's 18 weeks long. That really sets up all my patients in healing optimally. I'll link to that guide right here so you can check that out. More importantly in this video, I want to give you immediate impactful items that can get you on your way to swelling reduction and healing so that you can feel back to your normal self. So there's an assortment of topical care that's going to be important. So phase one is topical care. I love to recommend a homeopathic tea relief gel. Tea relief gel is a topical gel. It's an assortment of homeopathic swelling reducers and healing enhancing nutrients and medicine that will help you get rid of bruising, swelling, and pain. I love this topically because it works so well with my surgical cases. The other thing that you wanna do is you want to implement dry skin brushing. Check out this free guide here where you can get information on how to do dry skin brushing. You'll want to grab a natural bristle brush like this to impart the second phase of our skin care routine that will help reduce swelling. And it's going to be implementing lymphatic drainage via dry skin brushing. I have a wonderful guide right here that you can download totally free that walks you through the steps of how to dry skin brush your body. For a lot of my post liposuction cases, you wanna wait at least a week before you start dry skin brushing, but this will greatly help minimize that itchiness. That's that healing phase that the skin underneath the skin is itching. As you dry skin brush, this will alleviate that. And you're simply just gently putting the brush on your skin, moving it in a circular pattern, no sort of exfoliating process, nothing rough, but hugely beneficial. So that I'm gonna recommend product link to this and some of the other items down below. The next and honestly, I think the most crucial and most impactful item that you want on your post-surgical healing list is lymph stem. I love this stuff post-surgically, for any swelling reducing, any type of just fluid motivation, this lymph stem will help you get rid of the swollen pockets, the fluid that's retaining. It'll help you drain better. It'll help you recover, especially lipo when they've got some fluid that's being injected in the body. 
Liposuction is very destructive to the superficial lymph. It's basically the lymph is like a spider webbing and it, it is on the superficial layer of our body all over. And when we're lipoing with the suction, the lymphatics gets involved. This helps the lymphatics heal faster so they can reduce swelling faster. And that will get you faster on your way to healing. So that stuff is wonderful. My post-surgical cases, I actually recommend six times a day, 40 drops. And then usually a month or two out, you, you downgrade to 40 drops four times a day. This stuff will get things moving. And if you haven't done any type of lymphatic work or detoxing, do be aware your urine might have an odor and, and discoloration. That's all that anesthetic, all the junk that's gonna leave, leave and exit your body, which is gonna help you heal faster. Then my third and final thing, let's talk about pain. Pain is really, really intense for all of my liposuction cases. And often you get medication, but it's very short lived and it's often narcotic oriented, very, very strong, strong medications, but you end up having to go back to work in your regular life. And the way to minimize the pain, I actually love to use CBD. So I'm gonna recommend CBD usage for the post-surgical pain and then dosing down in the milligrams to more maintenance as you're healing. Healing is something that's very unique and is specialized and individualized for each person. Some people heal better and, and faster, others bruise for a period of weeks and then they start that healing phase of swelling reduction. Any way that you can reduce your fluid levels by enhancing your lymphatics is going to help you heal better and similarly, if you minimize the pain response and block it by adding CBD into the mix, that will help your body minimize the stress it's experiencing and help lower the inflammation of your cells so you can heal better. I hope this was helpful. I hope you'll consider checking out my post-surgical healing guide down below. And I am grateful for your time. If you are new to our channel, I hope you'll subscribe. Have a great day.